In the vast expanse of our solar system nestled among the icy rings of Saturn lies a moon named Enceladus. This tiny world, barely wider than the state of Arizona, holds a secret of extraordinary proportions. Enceladus is a world teeming with activity, a place where towering geysers erupt from a hidden ocean. This ocean, concealed beneath a shell of ice, may hold the key to answering one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? Enceladus is a beacon of hope in the search for extraterrestrial life. It reminds us that even in the coldest, most distant reaches of our solar system, the potential for life exists. As we stand at the precipice of a new era of space exploration, Enceladus beckons us to explore its mysteries and unlock the secrets of this captivating moon. The story of Enceladus begins in the late 18th century with the famed astronomer William Herschel. On August 28, 1789, Herschel, already renowned for his discovery of the planet Uranus, turned his powerful telescope towards Saturn. There, among the gas giant's majestic rings, Herschel spotted a faint point of light. This point of light, he soon realized, was a previously unknown moon. Herschel's discovery would be named Enceladus, after a giant from Greek mythology. The name was fitting. While small in size compared to other moons in the solar system, Enceladus would prove to be a giant in terms of its scientific significance. Its discovery marked the beginning of our fascination with this icy world, a fascination that continues to grow with each new discovery. Enceladus is a relatively small moon with a diameter of just 504 kilometers. This makes it about one-seventh the diameter of our own moon. But what it lacks in size, it makes up for in intrigue. Its surface is an icy wonderland reflecting almost all the sunlight that falls upon it. This high reflectivity makes Enceladus one of the brightest objects in our solar system. Beneath its dazzling surface lies a more complex story. Enceladus is composed primarily of water ice with a small rocky core. However, the presence of active geysers and a subsurface ocean suggests that its interior is far from frozen solid. The gravitational pull of Saturn and its neighboring moons creates tidal forces within Enceladus. These forces generate heat, keeping the interior warm and active. Enceladus is part of a complex and dynamic system of rings and moons that orbit the gas giant Saturn. It orbits at a distance of approximately 238,000 kilometers from Saturn, placing it within the planet's faint E-ring. This ring is composed of tiny ice particles constantly replenished by the plumes erupting from Enceladus's south polar region. Enceladus is tidally locked to Saturn, meaning that the same side of the moon always faces the planet. This synchronous rotation is caused by the gravitational forces between the two bodies. As Enceladus orbits Saturn, it completes one rotation on its axis for every orbit around the planet. Section 5, the face of Enceladus, a surface shaped by ice and activity. The surface of Enceladus is a testament to the powerful forces at work within this small moon. Its icy plains are scarred by tectonic fractures, evidence of the immense stress placed on the moon's crust by tidal forces. These fractures, some of which stretch for hundreds of kilometers, are a testament to the dynamic nature of Enceladus. One of the most striking features of Enceladus's surface is the presence of tiger stripes, these four parallel fissures, located near the moon's south pole, are the source of the moon's iconic plumes. The tiger stripes are warmer than the surrounding icy plains, suggesting that they are regions where heat from the interior escapes into space. Section 6, A Moon Alive, Geological Activity on Enceladus. Enceladus is a geologically active world. Unlike many other moons in the solar system, which are cold and geologically dead, Enceladus is a place where change is constant. The moon's interior is warmed by tidal heating, creating a subsurface ocean of liquid water. This ocean is thought to be the source of the moon's spectacular plumes. The plumes of Enceladus are a testament to the moon's internal heat and activity. These geysers erupt from the tiger stripes spewing water vapor, ice particles, and organic molecules into space. The material ejected from these plumes forms Saturn's E-ring, a faint but persistent ring that encircles the planet. Section 7, an ocean under the ice, the subsurface ocean of Enceladus. 
One of the most exciting discoveries about Enceladus is the presence of a global subsurface ocean. This ocean is thought to be located beneath the moon's icy crust, perhaps as much as 30 to 40 kilometers below the surface. The evidence for this ocean comes from a variety of sources, including the composition of the plumes, the moon's wobble as it orbits Saturn, and the presence of organic molecules in the plumes. The ocean of Enceladus is thought to be salty, like Earth's oceans, and may contain organic molecules, the building blocks of life. Some scientists believe that hydrothermal vents, similar to those found on Earth's ocean floor, may exist on the ocean floor of Enceladus. These vents could provide a source of energy and nutrients for life. Section 8. Plumes of Possibility – Eruptions from Enceladus the plumes of Enceladus are one of the most captivating features of this icy moon. These geysers, erupting from the tiger stripes near the South Pole, spew water vapor, ice particles, salts, and organic molecules hundreds of kilometers into space. The plumes are a window into the moon's hidden ocean, providing scientists with a way to sample the ocean's contents without landing on the surface. The discovery of molecular hydrogen in the plumes is particularly intriguing. Molecular hydrogen is a potential source of energy for microbes and its presence suggests that hydrothermal activity may be taking place on the ocean floor of Enceladus. Section 9 Conclusion The Future of Enceladus Exploration Enceladus has captured the imaginations of scientists and the public alike. Its subsurface ocean, plumes of water vapor and the potential for life make it one of the most compelling targets in the search for extraterrestrial life. Future missions to Enceladus will likely focus on studying the plumes in more detail, searching for signs of life and perhaps even attempting to land on the surface. The exploration of Enceladus is a testament to the power of human curiosity and our drive to explore the unknown. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of this fascinating moon, we move closer to answering the question of whether we are alone in the universe.